Salute to all my people. Y'all can like me if you haven't already. We're going to talk about 50 Cent. Now, 50 Cent demands Oprah and Tyler Perry to apologize to Monique. Now, me personally, y'all know how I feel about Monique on this platform. Um, I feel as though this is a sister that was blackballed. Um, well, I don't have to say I feel like she was blackballed. We all know she was blackballed in the industry in which where um, her people did her the worst. When you say Oprah, when you say Tyler Perry, they said they knew Monique wasn't wrong, but she, you know, in so many words, she didn't play the game. She was hard to deal with or whatever the case may be. Me personally, when I look at somebody like 50 Cent and I see he's giving her an opportunity or it seems as though he's getting ready to give her another opportunity to come back and put her, her talents on full display for the world. Me personally, I always love to see our people uplift each other, um, put each other in position, not get in position and forget where we came from. Now, 50 Cent is somebody who was who very much so in position. He had power. He had BMF. Um, and he seems as though, you know, he's taking the Hollywood world by storm. Now, he has the ability to take anybody at this moment and put them through acting classes or put them in uh, movie roles or put them in a uh, series or whatever it is and change their life forever. Monique is somebody who has won an Oscar, right? She's somebody who has been, you know, on the highest level. We all know that the greatness in Monique, not only acting, but comedy and beyond. Now, this sister is somebody that stood for something and she stood alone. You know, a lot of times in life, you know, we let each other stand alone even when we know that the person is right. If, if it means it could affect my job, if it could affect my employment, many people won't say nothing even when they know you're right. You know what I'm saying? This is a situation that you've seen Monique deal with. But not only Monique, it happens in real life. It happens at your job. It happens at, you know, different family, you know, uh, disputes or whatever it is. A person will know you're right, but because the other person that, that you're going at, because they, you know, mean more to the family or they're in a higher position or whatever it is, they will act as though, you know, they don't see what's going on. They act as though they don't see what's happening. Now, Hollywood won't hurt her. They wanted Monique to turn her back on her husband. Me, I, I support Monique even more because no matter what, her husband's a black man and it was her and her husband against the world as it still is. She didn't turn her back on her husband. When I see somebody like 50 Cent come up and, and he see you know, what's right and what's wrong, he's in position to change things. He didn't come there and, you know, try to exploit Monique or just do it the Hollywood world, you know, do it their way. Where it's like, you know, if they not messing with her, I'm not messing with her. No, he, he's willing to go at the status quo. He's willing to go at people that's in position or, or the higher names like a Tyler Perry or Oprah Winfrey. The people that, you know, they have made us to believe that is great people or great people for black people or, or a great black person or somebody to be praised or honored. You know what I'm saying? You know, one thing we know, they give us the celebrities that, you know, they feel like these are the ones they want us to look up to. You know, and, and those are you usually the ones that would do anything bootleg and tap dance behind the scenes for the ones in major position, the major network, those that, you know, really not for us, but at the end of the day, they'll put them in position to make us to believe that, you know, this is what you're supposed to do or this is what you're supposed to look up to, whatever the case may be. Nevertheless, to get back into 50 Cent, this is somebody who has been making tweets, he has been making, you know, putting things on Instagram, all over social media. He warming us up to let us know that Monique is getting ready to get back on the scene, man. Salute to you, brother, for you to take that sister, take her circumstance, take her condition. You could have never looked at a Monique again in life. But you is going against the grain uh, in a highly weird or Hollywood world where they don't really want us to be heard. And especially not nobody like Monique that's standing for something and not falling for anything. This is a sister that's standing for something. As she always have and not falling for anything. Well, in that position, you've seen people like Whippy Goldberg told her, if you gave me a call, I could have schooled you on how this thing works, how what works. You know, I often wonder, why do our people feel as though, you know, we have to do it they way, you know, we have to, you know, play the game. You know, if you don't play the game, then you can be blackballed. Me, I understand that the situation that certain people in understand the circumstance, understand people have to provide for their family. But one thing about life, you should never compromise, compromise yourself self. in order to sit at the tables amongst people that will never truly accept you. You know, in this world, they always say, what have you done for me lately? That seems as though that's the way the industry is ran. It's like, you know, it's cool. You can act. We know you got talent. But what game, what agenda would you push for me? You know, what, what, what would you do to make sure that when I'm trying to push off, it can make it to your communities? You know, I always hear Monique talk about the next young sister. Sometimes when it comes to a black woman speaking up and speaking out, it goes unheard until she dies. Then once she dies, then we go back and say, well, she was right and let's make a movie about it. See, I can give you their names, Eartha Kitt. I can give you their names, Hazel Scott. I can give you their names, Fannie Lou Hamer. I can give you their names, Hattie McDaniel. All of those women took a stand. And all of those women left here heartbroken, unhealthy, looking at a community saying, y'all know I'm right, but why won't anybody say anything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you had called me, mm -hmm. I could have schooled you mm -hmm. on what was expected. And when we did have that conversation and what I said to you, mm -hmm. my sweet sister, I said, Whoopi, 
at what point do we stop saying the next time? Yeah. When I said Whoopi Goldberg was the help, let me tell you what I meant by that. Mm -hmm. When I have a woman that says to me on national TV, I could have schooled you. Well, you wanted to school me on how I was supposed to work for free. Mm -hmm. I simply don't want that type of education. Mm -hmm. That's the education you're fine with. That's not the education I want, and that's not the education I want to pass down to my little sisters saying, you just got to do it. Let me school you. If they're not paying you, baby, that's called slavery. That's called slavery. That's called slavery. Now, you know, and that's what always made me respect her even more because it's like, you know, she's not thinking for herself. Even if it means she take all the damage, she take all the, the rock stone and hurt. If it means the next young sister don't have to go through it, then she was willing to grow through it or she was willing to go through it. You get what I'm saying? So me, like I say all the time, man, I, I love to see people to stand for something versus fall for anything. And too many times in this world, we got so many people falling for anything versus standing for something. To all the youth, to all the ones that's coming up next, there's so many people that's inspired to be actors. They're inspired to be entertainers. They're inspired to be in position position to change their family life right at what expense you know are you willing to actually you have to ask yourself before you get involved with something before you involve yourself with anything you should be watching the game you should be learning you should be a student of it so anytime you get in that position you have to ask yourself will you compromise self in order to be in position or will you always stand for something? Because if you're a person that have integrity, if you're a person that have honor, you will always stand for something. We've seen someone like Monique do, and we stand, it seems as though 50 going against the grain and, and demanding that Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry apologize to Monique right now, or else her story will still be heard on a massive stage, or, or she will be seen again. Her voice will no longer be silenced. Man, I feel as though I want to tick my hat off to that brother. I feel as though that's a person that, you know, forget the music, forget whatever else. As it pertains in the entertainment world in, in acting form or Holly Weir, you know what I'm saying? This has been a brother that has put many young black people on, guys that never knew they can act. He put them through acting school and people like, you know, the, the hidden gems of a Monique. You know, he has stood beside her. He got a lot of traction of letting people know that he's going to stand beside her. And he's demanding that the people that's the higher people that you know the, the guys are supposed to be in position, the guys are supposed to be role models in our communities. Uh, Tyler Perry, Oprah, uh, Oprah, he's making those people are demanding them to apologize to Monique because they knew they was wrong. As I sit on the outside and I look at everything that's going on, man, uh, Oprah has showed us, Tyler Perry has showed us, you know, the P. Diddy's of the world have showed us, everybody has showed us, you know, when they got close to billions of dollars, a lot of these dudes backstabbed so many people to get in those positions. Now, that's just on the outside looking in. I wasn't in those, com I wasn't in those contract rooms, but anytime everybody say the same thing about a person, I don't have to meet them to understand where they stand with things. You have guys that, you know, have lost their life and on their on deathbed, they said certain things about certain people. You know, all the way out. You have certain people that was in Hollywood, Hollywood that came back to reality, came back to the normal side of living. And everything they had to say about the industry was a, it was a wicked place. It was a dark place. You've seen so many people try to speak out and they try to silence. And one thing about the, the world and, 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 and the industry and the network, major platforms, whatever it is, they understand that they can control the narrative. They can control the narrative. They can make us to believe um, because Dave Chappelle turned out $50 million. Um, he went to Africa. He's on drugs. You know, they can make us believe all these different things until which where these people get back in position and you really hear them and you can hear that they were somebody that stood for something. So the industry won't damage their image forever. One thing I will say, young homie, if you're coming up, young sister, if you're coming up, look at somebody like Monique, somebody that won an Oscar, someone that was in position, that's standing with her husband. You know, many of them people want her to get away from her husband. That's really what this is about. They would deal with Monique, but they won't deal with her husband. If they say a man lead and a woman follow, this is a woman. Does she not putting money in front of nothing? That's her husband. That's her companion. That's that's the person that, that she answers to and he answers to her. You know, they say um, until death do us apart. Right. So first and foremost, I want to say and I want to say this in closing. Before you get married, before you get in a serious relationship, make sure she's your best friend. Make sure he's your best friend. Friendship is everything. Communication is key. And it seems as though these two are best friends that really have each other um, best interest at heart. So anytime you see somebody come in Monique, he supports her. Anytime you see somebody come in him, Monique supports him. But it's always good to see somebody like 50 Cent, a black brother that's in position, that can look at her for what she's worth, the talent, the, 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 um, the intelligence, the woman that really, really stood for something. He's able to look at her and say, no matter how far you get, how high you you get never compromise who you are because I will stand with you and I'll go at Oprah, I'll go at Tyler Perry, I'll go at the industry. 50 Cent is a person that's right now. If he's standing beside Monique, and I'm about to get up out of here, if he's standing beside Monique, you know, he's somebody that could potentially be putting his career in danger. You know, if they if they say we blackball her and we don't want to deal with her, but you in position and you able to give her a job and you go back and get her a job, many people could turn their back on you. 
50 Cent saying as though he don't care about that. To see he stand with the sister or standing beside her and um, putting her back in position. I love to see it. I love to hear it. That's all I want to say. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we can team go together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about, you know, 50 Cent and what he had to say about Monique. He's demanding that Oprah and Tyler Perry apologize to Monique. As we know, Monique didn't deserve to be blackballed. Name me one other white actor that won a, you know, an Oscar. You know, and you never heard from her again. Monique was that person because she stood for something, and I will always tip my hat to her. Each one teach one love and respect.